Why do we celebrate Veterans Day at Eagle Ridge Academy? So at Eagle Ridge Academy, we've been celebrating Veterans Day since its inception in 2004 and 2005. And I think the main reason that Eagle Ridge Academy continues this celebration, and really I think more of an honoring of our veterans, is that it's part of our vision at Eagle Ridge, which is to appreciate the United States of America and her unique role in the world. And part of this is to honor our veterans. You know, going back to November 11th, 1918, of Armistice Day, that's when this honoring of the veterans really started. And uh, again, it was renewed after World War II. Um, and a lot of times people get it mixed up Veterans Day and get, they, they get it mixed up with Memorial Day. Well, Memorial Day is to honor those that have uh, given their lives and have, have died in, in action, um, served in their country. Well, Veterans Day is a way to honor all those who have served in a war or conflicts and things like that. And I think one reason we continue at the Orange Academy is it's not just to honor our veterans, but it's about history. And I absolutely love seeing our parent community and our student community embrace our veterans and, and they serve them, you know, whether it's giving them flags or um, developing and writing essays and speeches. And our veterans actually leave here um, with a lot of joy and gratitude. I think that's the reason we continue the tradition at Eagle Ridge. My name is Martin Adams. Uh, I'm the post commander for the Hopkins VFW Georgia Wolf Post 425. And uh, I've been asked to come and speak to you today uh, in honor of Veterans Day. Veterans Day is the day that our country acknowledges uh, that there's members among the citizenship that chose at some point in their life to uh, join the military. Uh, and the first step in that joining of the military is to take an oath. Uh, an oath is to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from all enemies, foreign and domestic. And once you've done that and you've served, whether it's in the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, uh, the Marine Corps, or the Coast Guard, or the new Space Force, uh, you now have that common bond uh, with others that have taken that oath and you, that you're now a veteran uh, after your service. For me, my experience is probably different from the vast majority, although not all uh, former service members, in that uh, serving was really our family business, in that my wife and I were both uh, served in the military. Uh, we started at West Point on the same day, July 1st, 1987, graduated together on June 1st, 1991, and then about a year and a half later, we decided to get married. Um, and then I stayed on active duty for almost 22 years, uh, she was on active duty for a while. She chose to leave active duty uh, when we had our first daughter. Um, while she was out, she chose to uh, enter uh, nursing school. And then while she was in nursing school, a recruiter came uh, to her school and uh, gave her some information about the possibility of coming back into the Army as an active duty nurse. And she chose to, to pursue that route. And uh, actually today, even though I'm retired, um, she has left active duty, but she continues to serve as an Army Reservist, uh, Army nurse. The VFW is, was founded uh, over 100 years ago. Uh, soldiers that had served in the Spanish-American War uh, came back after their service and realized that the government wasn't exactly fulfilling all of the promises it had made to convince them to serve in the first place. And so they banded together uh, to, you know, form a cohort of people that could then uh, engage with their elected representatives and the federal government to say, hey, we were supposed to get X, be it a pension or medical support for wounds that they had received or whatever the case may be. And so they, they created this initial organization, which then expanded across the United States. And then over the last century plus, uh, has expanded even more so to where local communities like our community here in Hopkins uh, have their own uh, VFW post, which stands for Veterans of Foreign Wars. Um, and today, not only do we continue that fight of making sure that the, the federal government 
uh, upholds its promises uh, to support those that previously served uh, with whatever support they were promised, but also to uh, promote patriotism, Americanism, and just generally support the local community. And so one of the things that, that we like to do at, uh, at the Hopkins VFW is, is give back financially. Uh, we're fortunate that we're in a position where we, we take in uh, charitable donation funds and then we're able to distribute those. Uh, we support the local food shelves, ICA, PROP, um, and others. Um, and then also continue to support veterans that may be in need. Uh, many of you may be heard of the homeless veteran problem it's here in Minnesota. Uh, that continues to be an issue that there are former uh, service members, now veterans, that are in our community that for one reason or another uh, are unable to maintain stable housing. And so we donate a lot of money to the local organizations that are trying to, to eradicate veteran homelessness. The first thing that comes to mind when I think about what does patriotism mean to me is commitment, uh, because that was something that I did early on in my life when I made the commitment to, to join the military. But I think it also means to me responsibility in that as a citizen of the United States, you have a responsibility to be engaged and patriotism, maybe that's the motivation uh, that you use to, for that engagement, be it motivation to vote, um, be it motivation to get involved in the political process, maybe it's motivation to try and support your community through, uh, you know, community support activities, volunteering uh, at your church or in other maybe non-religious uh, community organizations that are seeking to improve their community. All those things kind of come together in, into patriotism, which in a lot of ways is, is pride. Pride in, in your country, pride in, in who you are and what you're able to do uh, for that country and just being, uh, you know, being someone who stands up and, and becomes a part of it. I guess probably the biggest takeaway uh, for, for someone who has not served themselves uh, with regard to Veterans Day would be that things don't just happen on their own. It takes an initial step to get them moving. And whether that's, in my case, was joining the military to you know, support and defend the Constitution of the United States with the oath that I took, or whether it means you go and seek out some organization that you agree with their goals and their values within your community, um, it takes that initial step. And I think Veterans Day is just a reminder that it's important to be involved in our communities and in support of our nation.